talk, real talk. We believe yeah. that God is doing something great yeah. on the inside of his people, but it all comes oh. from knowing who you are. We are so excited. We are so glad, look, that you made it to this year. This is a whole new year, a whole new start, everything.
Okay? Listen to the spoken word of it. He said, listen, it is time now to hear the word of the Lord. He said, for this is the time and season that many things will begin to come about. But you must hold fast, firm grip, and do not be moved from the place I have set you, said the Lord. It is the time now to know when and how to do those things that I have called you to do, said the Lord. I will begin to teach you and give you the wisdom and knowledge that you will need to continue doing the things that you have been called to do, said the Lord. He said many words have gone forth and you must hear only the words that you know that I have sent, sent, sent to you, said the Lord. You will know if you have been seeking after me and not the things that will build up you up in the faith needed for the season. Seek me, said the Lord. Seek me first above all things. And I will give you all that you have asked for according to my will, said the Lord. My way is perfect and plain. There will be nothing too hard for you to do. He said, there will be nothing too hard for you to do, people, said the Lord. Many have been called. Listen at this. But there are those who have been sent out before time, mm, said the Lord. Only I can give the increase of whom I have chosen. Only I can be the one who send those who I have called. Oh, my God. He said, the anointing of the Lord is your strength, said the Lord, in the time of needed. He said, straight is the way and narrow is the gate. Many will not enter in because of disobedience, said the Lord. Summing it up, he said, I will come soon and I will take up the things huh, that have weighed my people down. Oh, Shano, come on, la boss. <laughs> and he said he and destroyed the deceit in the land. Come, let us reason. Oh, my God, together, said the Lord. <laughs> rest upon me. He said, rest upon him. And I will give you rest. And peace that you need. He said, pray and know that I am your Alpha and Omega. The author and finish, finish of your faith, said the Lord. And finally, I want to sum this up like this and say, oh my God, praise God. God want us to I had to write it down. Just quote. Want us to not just quote the word and know where to find the scriptures. We need to grow, mature, and walk in it. Not to say having the gift and yet say you had a gift. This is me now. I'm not a spoken word. I'm just saying this. I just wrote it down. And yet, do not understand the gift you're carrying. You say you have a gift, but yet you don't understand it. And really, some have gifts and don't really understand what gift they're carrying. It is time to stir up the gift. Like Pastor Paul told Tim to stir up the gift. Because he knew Paul. Pastor Paul knew that Tim, Tim was going to need those gifts, those gifts going out. And study and ask the Holy Spirit. You study. You study. And ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Write down even the little pieces. This is what I do of words. I had to learn to do that. That you keep hearing. Okay? You keep hearing because the words you hear some a lot of times have meaning. It will come a time if it is by way of the Holy Spirit, the words will have meanings. Especially when you begin to see some of the manifestations. There were words given to me during my prophetic writing before I even heard from anyone else. 
Not saying he had not spoken those words to others. And some that might end up listening to some of this here broadcast might say, God had been saying that to me. And uh, a few years, uh, I mean, a couple of years ago, okay? And I find in my scribe of writing, I have a lot of scribe of writing, some of the same words are being repeated over and over again. You look at a uh, Mark, Luke, and uh, Luke, and Mark, and uh, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Some You'll see some of the same words of saying being spoken in in scripture there's a reason for that we sometimes forget but listen i listed four things that god speaks to me on the regular one is fine tune your ears very often and the reason he want our ears fine tuned spiritually ears fine tuned not what you just hearing it going on in the world to what he is saying to you through vessels and through sometimes people good people can be giving you a word of speak and it might not be him speaking but we got to know when he's speaking when it's for us and when it's for you it can be a word just for the person next to you that's a good word for him but it might not be for you because that word for the from the other person you take it it might move you out of position that god have you placed set in God might be saying, hold on, don't move now, it's not time. But if you're not hearing that for you, but it might be for that person, that person know it, you might say, I got to stop now because it's not. No, you have to know it's that's for you. Okay, now another one is the earth is crying out. Oh my God, this came to me years ago. It's not too many words that I scribe or write in a path where he don't say the earth is crying out. Yes, the earth is, it's right now. The earth is crying out. Yes. God um, God used a, a pastor, a prophet, Belton, to give us a revelation on that. And um, I, I think that's what it was. The, it wasn't the earth is crying out. It was something else. It was God was speaking to me about uh, praying for the nation. He said, don't only pray for the nation. We need to pray for the world. Because the world is a turmoil. It was just some words he gave me. And she gave, God had given her something on it. She had no idea God had been saying that to me about the world, right? And another one is, I'm raising up a new breed of prophets. The prophets are already here. That new breed is, is already here. And the thing is, there are some people are not listening. They're not fine-tuning to them because yet they don't, they're not. I don't want to say seem to be pure, to be notable yet or whatever. That's okay. Because see, all God wants us as prophets to do, we plant the seed. We put the seed there. We don't worry about how many are going to catch on and grab it. Just put that seed out there. If it's one or two people, okay? He's raising up a new breed of prophet. They're going to bring balance, okay? We're puzzled. We're just like puzzles. They're going to bring whatever we're going to connect and when we're connect, we'll find we're almost saying the same thing. But one might have that part of it, and he's going to bring the other property in, and they're going to put the whole thing together, okay? Now, number four, the, this is the last one. There's no more time to be wasted, often. I get that a lot. There's no, and there is no more time to be wasted. There's no more time to sit on your gift. There's no more time not to learn and understand your gift. And there's no other time, who are you in your calling? You're a pastor. What kind of pastor are you? Understand it. You have to have the heart of a pastor. You're a prophet. What kind of prophet are you? Are you a church prophet? Whatever prophet you are, whatever it is, whatever you are in the call, in the kingdom, understand it. You know why? So for one reason is you won't have, take your gift that you're supposed to be operating in and have it almost whole because you're trying to over here, operate out of a gift that is not on you. Is that a, that anointing is going to set on that gift of that calling God has given you, even with assignments. If anointing don't follow that assignment, if that is an assignment, the assignment God has given you, you can talk all day and all night. That anointing is not going to follow. God is not going to honor it. He's going to bless you. You're blessed from it, but that anointing is not going to flow with it. Okay. I'm, I'm, we got to know this. We got to understand this, okay? I have to teach from where I am, where God has placed me. I can look. I can take and start trying to teaching on the 
different colors and all of that. Yeah, I learned about the colors. I can get that. That's fine. That's a geese woman me. But look, I can't get into a big... I would not. I could. Let me put it like that. Because that's not my assignment. Somebody read the book of Revelation. You all can believe you want to. God has someone who is called, who is anointed. Not called. They already called. They are anointed to, to, to go through that book. Of, not just going through it, reading the scriptures in it. They can teach from it. Um, listen, we got to believe that you got special geometry teacher, special algebra teacher, teachers in special in the natural. Don't you know God has placed some of us in special positions where we're going to function different? Don't try to speak like of another person speaking tongue either. That's another one. Because you know what? The devil can have a tongue too. But you know, I thank God for discernment, sharp and discernment. Because if you run a person with discernment, sharp, and you might not want to do that. <laughs> I'm telling you, because he's sharpening a lot of our discernments. You know, God is so good. You know, I am so excited about all of this because I'm excited in the place where God have me now. I'm set in this place where he have me. I'm not rushing all over the place. I only do... Or uh, the spoken word on the third Saturdays of the month. Yes, I can take it and try to do it every day in the week. Why would I do that? I have to make myself available for all of what God has placed in me. I can't get so overwhelmed. And I can't do the other things that I've been called on to do. You know, you have to know. Now, if that time comes for me to do that, I will do it. But this is not a... Uh, just doing something thing for me. It's not having something to do. I'm not. I'm not trying to be noted, known by flopping here and there and everywhere. Hey, but when Holy Spirit give me something to give it to you, I promise you, you will be be fed. Okay, and, I, and I'm telling you. But I'm gonna say again to this for the the ones of you who are on here now. And I've been doing this, and I know it's the Lord been having me to ask everyone to do this. Please. Please listen on my on profile page. You'll find it if you had to start all the way down on assignments. Because I sat up in the bed last night, I laid up in the bed in the week. Why would I keep listening to my own thing on assignments? You know why? Because the Holy Spirit gave it to me and I'm hearing it. And I said, Oh my God! And I don't know how many times you know. It is, I'm telling you, it's a blessing. It's so much balancing. It's so much teaching in it. It really is. And and and, and, uh, and, and not for you just to see how I'm, I'm not trying to sign any kind of way. I'm just a, uh, God never ceases to amaze me. I'm telling you, when you can hear the Holy Spirit in your own teaching, you hearing something. When you don't hear you, that's a sign. That's a good sign. Okay. It really is. But like I said, I wasn't going to hold you all long and I'm not going to do that. But, um. Uh, I'm trying to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. And uh, I want you all to, you know, stay encouraged. Be encouraged. You know, uh, don't take yourself lightly. You know, just, just ask God to help you. Build your confidence in the areas where you feel like you need it. And look, ask God to help you. Sometimes you don't want to stay in the comfort zone too long. You got to get out of that comfort zone. It's so much in you to give, but you're so comfortable in that one place that where you know God will use you well, and you do, you know you can do okay in the other area, but but you all, you're not ready to flow. You do it, and I'm gonna tell you something. If God, uh, I think about Jonah when he didn't want to oh, do what God had told him to do. Now that's another thing. If God has given you assignments, if it is the assignment, oh my God. Mm. I'm not talking about just assignment you taking up because somebody asked you, would you come and pray for, to my church and do this? Would you this and that? And all, blah, blah, blah. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. But that's a particular assignment you're supposed to be doing. And you never got around to really doing it. You really didn't too much want to do it, right? And look what happened with Jonah. You see what I'm saying? And his disobedience almost caused a whole shift to, to drown. You know? So he told them, just throw me off. You know? So that means... When God really have an assignment for you, you're going to have to carry that assignment out. You're going to have to do it. You're going to have to do it. So you need to find out what that assignment is. God don't want us all over the place now with our gifts. 
He really don't. And first of all, one thing about it, you got to study and understand that gift that you're carrying. You know, I don't just get on and and, and do uh, talks and even when, when we're on real talk. You know what I'm saying? We make sure we have all what we need to do before we go on. Like right now, I, I'm, I'm, I study. I, I read. I read the word. And and I and I and, and when questions and some come to me, I'm gonna start looking it up. And really, God used vessels. The Holy Spirit is our greatest teacher. Apostle Paul told us that in Galatians. But listen, He teach you through other vessels that are listening. Those are hearing, right? That's what He would do. Okay. There's nothing too hard for God. And I pray everyone has enjoyed this and. And I want you all to know, and I see my cousin Steve, Steve, uh, Steve Skipper. I show sure wish he was here in Montgomery, Alabama. He have a great testimony. We have a healing and deliverance service where we do testimonies to bless people. I mean, he got a book out there now, not on a book. He, so many, uh, 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 what you call, uh, uh, football. I know a lot about football. These fine professional player uh, uh, uh pro schools and I mean I wish I could name I came and name some of them. I mean he'd have done painting. He's an artist. And he guess what? You know who taught him? The Holy Spirit. He's a pastor. The Holy Spirit. If you see could see some of his drawing his art, you wouldn't believe it. He did not go to school, art school to draw that he's drawing now. He's very noted now. Steve Skipper. Look him up. I'm telling you. He have a foundation now. Has come for, for, for. Oh my God. I can't tell it all so much about him. But he's a perfect example of one God is using in the marketplace. In the marketplace. Look him. Look up. Go, go to his post. You might not be his friend or whatever. But you need to. I'm telling you. I know God will do it. Like I said. Most everything I've learned, most of it, out of 90% by the Holy Spirit. Some people don't know, believe that. I tell you about him. If you see some of his artwork, you will not believe. No, this, I know he don't been in the school of art college and all that. Oh, my God. So this is what I'm saying. The Holy Spirit can be your greatest teacher. You got to be willing and ready. And don't doubt and underestimate yourself. Let him use you. Now, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray us out. I prayed us in and let you know I'll be back again on the third Saturday in every month. If I don't come on, I'll always do it. If something come up, I'll do it a day early, earlier than that Saturday, maybe on a Friday night. But uh I can't I can't help but uh to ask you all to uh always tune in every Tuesday for our real talk with the Body of Christ ministry, myself and Apostle Donnell Edwards. And when we don't come on, we always uh play a, a rerun or replay of something or let you all know you know we've been very busy we're planning we have classes coming up in march and on these classes is uh, we're going to be teaching on the skills the motivational gift manifestation gifts intercessors we're going to be teaching on uh, have teaching on in a lot of areas i promise it's going to bless you bless you bless you i'm telling you, this is this will be for bishop pastors apostles prophets and all no uh, uh, this teaching is for everyone we need every it's a lot of us need it we need it we need it if you have if you feel like you don't reach the mark and you know it all we'll go hallelujah for you okay so i'm just keeping it real now i'm keeping it real if you feel like you've been been saved for 20 or 30 years and you already got it you've been in seminary and all these other nearest and you got it all all right glory hallelujah to you and for you but i would tell you what we're in a time now you're gonna find out how much you have what you what you don't have and what you need i'm telling you and that's it you don't have to take my word for it I tell you, that's true. And so we, we got to be, we can't be competitive and running all over each other. We have to respect each other in ministry. By the Christ, we got to get it together. We support each other. Whether we support each other. You find fault in the brother, you see something come right, ask God to you pray for him. And if you're not seeing right, you're not sure. So Lord, pray for me. Bless my mind, my ear. We got to pray for each other. Cause see, the enemy wants to separate us. That's his that's his test now. If he can se separate the church people, and if he can have us acting so crazy, just crazy, people, why? and you think people don't want to come into the church? 
You don't want to come into that foolishness? No, uh-uh. That's not going to work because you know what? Satan can't win and he will not win. If I have one person into my ministry, one person sitting into the body of Christ ministry, we have two people, that's alone. We have our cam our camera up, we we're going live, we're going to minister to that one or two like it's a room full. That's what's about in those who are listening from live. That's why we got to change our mindset. Oh, it's not enough people. We got to change that. Plant seeds. Plant a those seed. Who are listening That's from what important. That's why you know, we got to change you. our mindset. It's not about us. Oh, it's not enough people. It's not how many stars we got go to up. How many that? Plant seeds. How many plant stars seed. go up? But That's what y'all going to make you me know, get know, It's not about you. I, it's not about us. I told Paul. It's not how many stars go up. I'll be almost getting there, but go ahead and kind of calm me down. How many stars go up? Y'all going to make me get in my preach mode. I, I was an average in college, college you average in school. I be almost the getting Lord the Lord had to calm Holy me Spirit down because he said, I want to bring I'm out still the learning. teacher. He's you. still teaching me. And I, I was an average in college. I was here from a teenager. Give me something. My ears fine too. I'm going to say, you can't tell me nothing. I'm still learning. The dope. He's still teaching me. I for the voice of the Lord. I am just I don't care how long a person been saved. If God can speak to a jackass, I know he can tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. We better listen. The dope. I listen for the voice. The knowing Lord. he's speaking, I don't care how long a person can okay. say. So, if God can speak I want to invite y'all out. I know no, he can say, I don't want to close the death of the body of Christ ministry. We <laughs> have a healing knowing he's speaking service tomorrow. We're going to have a special okay. guest. Okay. Yes. So, and then that's I want to invite y'all out, though. I don't want to close the death of the body of Christ ministry. We have a healing and death of the service tomorrow. We're going to have a special guest. And in that service, you know, we give our guest speaker a word. We have a word, a testimony, a word. Uh, Pastor that will Sarah, bless you and Sarah we'll Ross, have uh, oh, we will have be other different ones. Uh, yes, Reverend, um, she give a, a word, oh my God, a, a uh, queen, word, she uh, will give a word that will bless you, you a word and we we'll have uh, oh, we right have for the closing, I will open up Reverend, the testimony. Um, come out and give you a testimony. Oh my God, we want uh, you to come out and minister she will give an to the people with your testimony. Word of I don't care if it's good right before the closing. I will open up your life. Come out and give your testimony. We want you to come out and minister to the people and with your testimony. Please. They need to hear that because somebody is going you, through. They need sitting to hear around that. in your life. Okay. They need to know that you are a survivor. Through. But Come God, when 509 South Court Street, they need to hear that because somebody is going through. They need to know that you are a survivor. Okay. Okay. They need to know if you that you are a survivor. Come out. Please watch us live. 509 South Court Street, you will be able to hear that because somebody is going through. They need to know that you are a survivor. Okay. Okay. They need to know that you are a survivor. Okay. Okay. They need to know that you are a survivor. Okay. Okay. They need to know that you are a survivor. Okay. Okay. They need to know that you are a survivor. Okay. Okay. They need to know that you are a survivor. Okay. Okay. They need to know that you are a survivor. We got you to will be to able to, get, to uh, reach us now where we might be built up. In, a, in, in other words, other people, if you can invite and some you know people there's no okay. condemnation in those who love Christ Jesus. We got to be don't be shamed. Be, don't allow the devil to now where shame we can be built up and we can help can't other people. Say what is and going you know there's on no condemnation in those who love Christ Jesus. We're doing away with all those shame. Don't allow the devil to make those things you don't want to talk about. Whereas you can't say what is going on. That's what we're talk about. We talk about to happen. Real talk. We're doing away with all those hidden things. We talk about you heard you don't. Talk, talk about, about. you it's know what I'm saying? Talk. Hey, we, we, that's what real talk about. We I talk love about. everyone that's on real here. Talk. I think everyone is real in, talk. And I'm going to pray okay. you out right now. We're talking about because right you now, heard it. Almost talk about another stir. It's time to and talk. I need to stir. Hey, but look, please, talk about I want every one of you. I love everyone that's on here. I think everyone has a sign. And I'm going to pray you out right now. We're going to because right now, you need to make sure you don't take on stir. And I need to stir. But look, I want every one of you. I want you to give that assignment because I don't think that one person has been on will be given a sign. And you need to make sure you don't take on too many signs. God, one day, give to me. You need to understand a lot of things about okay. your gift, the gift okay. that you're carrying. Because right. I don't think it's one person Thank that's the Lord. Here Thank the Lord. Lord God, have the Father. I just sing a praise for everyone that's on and God, when they tonight. And I ask, Lord God, that you bless them, Lord okay. God, for the rest right. of the week, the weekend. Thank the Lord. Bless Thank them, Lord God, God have the Father. I just sing a praise for everyone that's on again tonight. And I ask, Lord God, that you bless them, Lord God, for the rest of the week, the weekend. And they can see in them, Lord God, that ears are fine-tuned. That you 
cleansing us. Us. If we take the spoken words that were spoken, so many different that ways, and so many different ways that you can see and understand, to, Lord God, let them God write down the words that you give by to them, Lord God. Us. And that if we take to meditate over the words so many with different the ways, and so many different ways, different ways that you can come from to, Lord God, let them write down the words that you give to them, Lord God. And that begin to meditate over the words with the scriptures, whatever it takes, so they can open up from this day forward. I decree and declare right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, even from this on night, Lord God, further, that you're right going to open and up some things for them and some will so they can open up so they can see and Jesus, so they can even Amen. see themselves bye bye. God and bless you. keep them pressing on even further right now and the ears shall and will be fine-tuned in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye. God bless you.